Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the month of August. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Remember, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This reading may or may not be for you. Aries. What does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Ooh, yikes. You could be dealing with a shady individual. <laughs> You know, this person, you, you're dealing with somebody, I think, that is trying to bring you down. They're trying to bring you down. Um, or they are bringing you down, whether they're trying to or not, it's bringing you down. I see that, you know, you have a lot of confidence. You're, you're probably vibrating at a very high level. You're probably dealing with another person who's jealous of you. And so they're probably doing something behind the scenes to bring you down. That's what that looks like to me. Yeah, you're working hard. You're working really hard at starting fresh, starting over, going down a new path. It looks like you guys are taking the lead. There's a lot of uh, confidence here, a lot of passion, a lot of um, enthusiasm within you. I think that you guys are coming back from, you know, this Mars retrograde, even though it's not over yet. I think that you guys are, are, are coming back up, but you're dealing with somebody. Could be a female. Could be. Could be a male, but it could be a female that is still, you know, holding on to you in some way. Interesting. <laughs> interesting yeah you guys are, are right in your own element there's an ending here a completion and maybe you have let go but this other person has not I'm not sure we're going to get some clarifiers with this you so you could be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius that is watching you from afar whether it's gemini libra aquarius could be any sign we have the fire signs aries leo sagittarius we also have scorpio we have taurus we have libra doesn't really matter um but i feel as though you guys are are taking the lead you're being the boss of your own life and and somebody is jealous Somebody is jealous. Somebody is not happy that you are doing so well. Don't you love it when that happens? You know, I think that you've been working really hard at completing a cycle in your life, a difficult cycle. You know, I think that you guys were going through some sort of, you know, with the Mars retrograde, there was like an inner war going on. We know there was. I think that, you know, you guys have worked really hard to overcome it and, and, and bring back the structure to your life, to get back to where you need to be, to dominate these feelings. I think that you guys have done a fantastic job at doing that. You guys are, are replacing that fear. You're taking risk. It's like you guys are, are starting over. You're starting over. You've worked hard to have this new start, to start over. But somebody is still holding on. They don't want to let the idea of you letting go of them go. Son of a gun. That's what this is. They don't want to let go of the idea that you let them go. So, you know, that's what's going on. It's like they're... they're 
probably gossiping about you, saying things to get other people to not see your your um, passion. You know, somebody's trying to bring you down. That's what I see. Son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, somebody doesn't doesn't want you to receive. They don't want you to be happy, and that sucks. You know, they, they're not happy that you walked away, that you turned your back on them. But they didn't want you. They weren't giving you. They weren't giving you what, what you wanted when you wanted them. And now that you've walked away and turned their back, your back, and you've, you're happy, you're vibrating good again, you know, you're right where you need to be. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I can't let this die. Isn't that the way it always goes? You know, so, you know, this is... You've already been through the emotional turmoil of this. You've already went through that emotional loss feeling. And they know that you're over it. So it's like, oh, no, no. Now I'm just going gonna, gonna to grip on one more time to see if I can bring them back into my... Hold. You know, you have somebody better suited for you, waiting for you. They see your enthusiasm. They see your optimism. They see that you you are receiving new opportunities. So I feel like you have a new opportunity waiting for you right in front of you. And, and this whatever this opportunity is, it's very exciting. But you do have an obstacle in the way. You're dealing, there's that mental turmoil I was just talking about. You know, somebody doesn't want you to have this new suitor, this new, this new opportunity. They don't. They'd like you to keep that blindfold on and keep holding on to them with that death card reversed. So that's what's going on here. Somebody is not happy that you have made positive strides in your life to let them go. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch. Sorry, sorry. You have absolutely let somebody go. And whoever this person is, they're not happy about it. So they're probably saying things, gossiping, talking about you behind the scenes, you know, trying to bring you down because you're vibrating at a higher level now. You're no longer holding on. I know that I'm repeating myself, but they missed an opportunity. They missed an opportunity with you. And I feel like you've cut them out. And I think it's, it could be it could be a, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And, you know, right now it's time for you to do what's right for you and keep, keep them where they're at. They may be sending you a message, you know, of because this is a message and this person, some, some air sign may be sending you a message because you've released them. But they have tricks up their sleeve, and you know it. You know it. Could be a Gemini. This is somebody who is very deceptive, crafty, cunning. And I'm not saying that it is a Gemini. It could be any sign. But the Magician Reverse is somebody that is absolutely a trickster. You know, totally uh, full of shit. Excuse my language. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You know, and you don't want to play this game anymore. It's like you've given up. It's like, you know, I'm not going to play this game. I don't need this drama in my life. And they see. They see that you are, that you are, are no longer playing. You're no longer playing this game. So now, you know, they see that you've regained your focus. They see that you are heading down the right path. You're broadening your horizons. You're taking charge of your life. I feel like you guys are doing the right thing by following your intuition and listening. Listening to your inner guide about this deceptive situation. You know, you know what the right thing is. You know what this person brought to the table. 
you know that there's drama involved with this person. And you know that you have to sever ties and walk away. Walk it away. From that idea. From that person with that ego that's just going to hurt you. You know that's what you had to do. And they know that you know. Therefore, they're probably, you know, you stopped communicating. You stopped giving them what they needed. You stopped moving in their direction. So now they've made, and you've decided, you've made the decision, you know what, that I know that what I need to do. So now they've made a decision that they want to, they want to keep you stuck. They want to keep you hanging. Oh, son of a gun. But I think you're content. I think you're content. You're happy. You're celebrating life. You're feeling good. You're moving forward. You're taking your time. You're planning. You're being practical. You're passing this test. This is an absolute test. Because you know there's no wish fulfillment in that situation with that person that brought you down in the past. They didn't want you then. Now they see your vibration. They see that you're happy. They see that you're glowing. They see that you're no longer even thinking about them. So here they are to test you. This is a test. But I'm here to tell you not to take any action. Don't take any action. It doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. Don't even think about it. Don't think about it. You have a solid, stable opportunity waiting for you. A golden opportunity. But there's no... There's no success staying with this commitment that you once had with whoever this person that has kept you stuck in limbo. This person doesn't want you to see a new perspective with that hang man. They don't want that. You're dealing with somebody in your past that had let you go. Or you would let them go, whatever. Somebody in your past that had let you go. They see. They see your success. They see your passion. They see that you're right back where you need to be. They see that you're no longer hanging on. So here, now, they see that you're released. Okay, they do. They see that. So now they decide, you know what? I got I to gotta reel them back in. I got to reel them back in just for a minute. So that they can hang. So I can, you know, get them stuck again. But there's no victory in success there. You have a more solid, stable opportunity with somebody that is better suited for you with that page of wands underneath. But you are being called to not take action with this manipulative, deceptive, cunning trickster, whoever it is. Somebody that's telling all kinds, saying all kinds of shit about you behind your back. They don't want you to move forward. But there's no wish fulfillment there. There's, there's no... It would never work out. It's not meant to be. Whatever that is. And you know it. You know it. This is the shady individual. You dealing with a shady individual. See, he's trying to steal your power. That's what's happening. Isn't that what people do, too? When they see that you... It's like a psychic vampire. When they see that you found your power, it's like they come in and go... Suck it right out. And that's exactly what this is. Don't let them. They see that you're solid. You have another opportunity waiting for you. Do not look back.
It would just be a complete chaotic mess if you did. And you know that. You know that. You have, an, you have an offer with somebody else, a new offer. That could lead to something long term. There you are. Confident. Hold your head up high. Be confident. Stand your ground. Be strong. Stay in your element. Do not let anybody bring you down. You're in control. I feel like this is a month of you standing in your power against somebody who doesn't like your success. There's a new opportunity for romance and love waiting for you if you pass this test. There's always a test before it comes. Always. Always. Before the true happiness comes, there's always a test. A test of your strength, a test of your willpower, a test of your courage. A test of who you are, a test of what you deserve. Somebody doesn't like your newfound strength. Do not allow them to suck that positive vibration out of you. This is a test. You have a, a golden opportunity that could lead to something solid waiting for you. Could be a year from now before that golden opportunity comes in. Could be. Could be a month. Could be happening now. But right now, you're being tested. Or you're going to be tested by somebody. I think it's an ex. The Queen of Swords can often signify an ex. Could be, could be a, any woman in your life. Could be a woman. I think it's a woman, could be an ex, could be a child, could be a mother, could be anybody that is coming in to push your buttons to keep you stuck. Could be a man, could be anybody, whatever. But you have an opportunity for relationship, romance, love. If you don't take action in the wrong direction. So that is my reading for August for that. We're going to get some romance angel cards and see what comes up. I see you guys um, having to probably not engage. I wouldn't even communicate with this person. We had the Eight of Wands reversed. Do not, do not even communicate with this person. Do not give them an ounce of your energy, not one ounce, because that's what they want. And if they steal it from you, then you have to, you have to gain it back. Okay. Do not give this person your energy. That's what they want. They want to steal your energy. Aries. <laughs> I told you. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And that this is why the test comes in. The test comes in when you when you when you find a new love. That's just the way it always goes. It's like God, universe, whatever says, okay, are you ready for this? Are you? Are you sure you're over this other person? On the bottom of the deck. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Go for it. The new one. The new one. The new one. This old one is a test from the universe. They're gossiping, trying to bring you down. Because it was their loss with the Four of Cups. It was their loss. 
Now we have three fours. We have the four of pentacles, the four of swords, and the four of cups that was down here. And the emperor, so that's four fours. Fours are invisible forces, <laughs> like I said. It's the universe. It's universal protection. Four, four, four. Universal protection. You're on the right path. Keep going. Don't look back. You are, will be tested before you find this wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for new love. Oh, I guess we're going to go with that one. Looks pretty good, don't it? Pleasure. Pleasure. Do something just for fun. Pleasure is one of life's essential nutrients. It is a time of pleasure. Don't let this psychic vampire bring you down. Talk to you next time.